Good afternoon for parents. This is Doc Jello of Zootopia Animal Clinic. And for this video, I am going to discuss about yeast infection. Yeast infection in dogs is very, very common. It is caused by a fungal microorganism called Malassezia. So, uh, this uh, yeast is a normal commensal ng katawan ng mga aso. Ibig sabihin, normal lang po na meron silang yeast sa kanilang mga balat. Except that if the number of the number of microorganism or that uh, fungus may grow in some circumstances. So yun yung i-discuss natin. Ano nga ba ang appearance or uh, itsura ng yeast infection sa dog, site of uh, growth nila, and also ano yung ginagawa nito sa inyong aso. And also, magbibigay din tayo ng uh, treatment plan and uh, home remedies and solution para sa yeast infection ng mga aso. So as I've said, yeast is a common or uh, normal commensal ng katawan ng isang dog. But, uh, in some uh, individual or in some patients, in some dogs, merong mga aso pinanganak na mahina ang immune system. So, if a dog is immune compromised, the growth of this fungus or fungi uh, is very rapid at dumadami talaga sila sa balat ng aso. In cases na immune compromised ang pasyente. But there are some special cases like right after treatment with antibiotics, for example, nagkasakit ang inyong dog and nagtik siya ng uh, uh, broad spectrum antibiotics sometimes. After the treatment with antibiotic, dumadami ang yeast infection sa balat. So it's very common na nagkakaroon ng dermatological problem concerning yeast ang mga patients that has undergone antibiotic treatment. Dahil maski yung mga normal uh, white blood cells or normal bacteria pala, sorry, the normal bacterial commensal flora ng balat ng dog ay naapektuhan ng general or broad spectrum antibiotic. Kaya dumadami ang yeast. So, yan yung mga um, possible na dahilan kung bakit dumadami yung yeast sa balat ng inyong dog. It's either sila ay uh, uh, immune compromised due to disease or sakit or sadyang pinanganak silang mahina ang kanilang katawan and also in cases that kakatapos lang nila mag-take ng antibiotic. Common sites of uh, pagdami ng yeast, areas kung saan sila nag-grow, are as follows. Sa armpit, sa base of tail, sa toes or sa mga paa, sa mga folds nila sa katawan, and most especially, sa kanilang teka. So, yan yung mga areas ng katawan ng aso kung saan greatly affected once dumami ng sobra ang yeast sa kanilang skin. So, ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng yeast infection sa balat or sa generally, sa, generally sa inyong dog? First is uh, redness or namumula. Makikita nyo yung tenga nila, it's very red at makapal. Sometimes meron silang kinikreate na crustings or mga balakubak. And also, nagkakos din po ito ng uh, greasy hair coat. So, greasy hair coat may, uh, may uh, appear as uh, medyo malakit at also pungent, medyo mabaho yung amoy ng balat ng inyong dog. It could be uh, tentatively maaaring uh, mange infection. So, we have to rule out mange infection din first before dahil sin din sila na nangyayari. Pero most commonly ganun. Namumula, greasy, mabaho, and also, of course, nandyan ang extreme na pangate. So, sobrang stress ng dog ninyo, siya ay nadidepressed, hindi masyadong kumakain, and also, nagkakaroon siya ng mga sugat sa katawan, of course, dahil kinakamot niya to restlessly, sobrang katin ng kanilang balat, nakakaawa. Kaya, napakatindi kapag lalo dumami ang uh, yeast sa katawan ng inyong dog. And in chronic cases, makikita nyo yung appearance ng, ng balat ng isang dog na mayroong yeast is itim. So, nangingitim yung surface ng kanilang balat permanently. 
So, in chronic cases yan, ibig sabihin matagal nang mayroon siya nito at hindi na re-resolvahan hanggang sa gumagaling na lang yung balat, babalik ulit, hanggang sa magkakaroon na naman. And it's very hard. Imagine that restless ka because sa pangangate. Yun nga lang, kinagat ka ng lamok dito sa kung saan man sa parte ng katawang mata. You are restless. Gustong-gusto mong kamugin. Kamusta naman yung buong katawan mo? Nangangate. Base of tail, folds, paa, tenga mo, sobrang kate. And sometimes, yung pangangate sa tenga nila, it could result to auricular hematoma. Or yung lumalaki yung tenga nila. And it, it's a big problem because nare-resolve lang yun through surgery. So, sa head shaking and sobrang pangate and scratching nila sa kanila tenga, it could cause that big problem oral hematoma. So we have, we really have to uh, make this uh, diagnose or we have to bring your dog to a veterinarian para makita at ma-diagnose at magamot ng akma yung inyong pasyente. Para yung mga ganitong problema, stress and problem talaga na, na nakakaawa yung mga aso, ma-resolvahan agad-agad. And then, now, let us proceed with the treatment plan. Paano nga ba ginagamot ang yeast infection sa mga aso? Sometimes, uh, removal of sugar in their diet is beneficial because ang kanilang, ang, ang yeast is uh, fungi that feeds with glucose. Therefore, when you reduce yung glucose intake ng inyong dog, uh, mas nalilesen ang kanilang uh, yeast infection. Kaya yung pagbibigyan ng glucose powder, dahan-dahan lang kayo dyan at hindi lagi yung pagka nangihina or may problema ng inyong aso, bigyan agad ng glucose powder. And also, minsan binibigyan din natin sila ng steroids para ma malesen yung pangangate. But before giving those uh, kind of drug like steroid, we have to assess or rule out first yung mange. Because if may mange siya, mange parasite sa balat, baka mas lalong tumami. And also, ang ginagawa natin with yeast infection, we do dietary modification. So, we give a more uh, nutritious food sa kanila because sometimes nga, sabi ko nga, ang pagdami ng yeast is due to their weak immune system. Therefore, if your dog is not uh, having an enough nutrition, therefore, yung kanilang immune system is weak. And uh, sometimes, immune booster is very helpful para mapataas natin yung resistensya ng inyong dog. And uh, eto na, yung isa kong isi-share din sa inyo that uh, can be done if ever wala kayong budget for uh, for consultation sa clinic and medication nito. Ang pwede nyo gamitin na home remedy sa yeast infection is you mix a portion of apple cider vinegar at lagyan ng kaunting water and then you can spray that to their ears and you can spray that in their skin let it dry huwag nyong hayaang basa and uh, you can keep that for a couple of days until the signs have gone yun nga lang medyo titiisin nyo amoy dahil lang amoy ng apple cider vinegar is medyo hindi rin maganda pero mas better na yun kesa sa amoy na pinaproject ng uh, yeast Ga gaya na sabi ko kanina medyo ano siya medyo pungent and medyo yung typical na amoy ng matindi na aso. So, yan yung mga posibleng gawin natin and also nakalimutan kong pagitin in chronic cases and uh, sometimes yung mga severe cases ng uh, yeast infection in dogs, of course we use antifungal drugs. So, pwedeng external in approach. Meron mga antifungal shampoos na available. And also, mas maganda ang antifungal treatment kung meron siyang kasamang uh, internal. So, uh, oral antifungal na gamot kasabay ng external antifungal shampoos is very effective to control yeast infection. But then, of course, diagnosis is very important. Ruling out mange infection is very important para mas ma maganda yung approach natin and yung treatment ay mas specific at mas effective. So yun lang ang anything about yeast infection. Just remember that yeast is a normal commensal ng balat ng inyong aso. And once immune compromise sila due to sakit or due to naturally weak immune system and also after antibiotic treatment, dumadami ang yeast 
sa kanilang balat. And therefore, what we can do aside sa mga nabanggit kong treatment is just make sure that your dog is healthy. Just make sure that your dog is receiving enough nutrition and also if you can supplement them with multivitamins every day, that's a big help. And if ever man mangyari to sa inyong dog, um, just make sure to consult a veterinarian for proper diagnosis and treatment plan. And kung wala man tayong budget, you can try to treat that with apple cider. But then again, it's very important na tayo ay kumonsulta sa doktor para mas mabigyan natin ng uh, attention at solusyon mas mabilis. At uh, yun lamang po. Salamat again for watching this video. And uh, if you have any more questions, tulad itong topic na to, nakita ko itong topic na to sa comment section. Someone asked me, Doc, gawa ka mo ng video about yeast infection. I saw that. And that's why I'm making this video. And if you have any more suggestions, just comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. I'm so much uh, nagpapasalamat and happy that you are here. And I hope you subscribe and share this video. Click the notification bell para notify kayo sa susunod kong video. And uh, I hope hindi magyari to sa inyong dog. Keep them healthy. Keep their immune system high. And supplement them with a lot of multivitamins and immune booster. Give them a good nutrition. Good quality kind of dog food. Walang table food ha. Again, salamat for watching. This is Doc Jello of Zootopia Animal Clinic. Bye-bye!